Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe. Word of the day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Suffering is a part of life in a fallen world, but suffering is never in vain. The purpose of suffering is seen in the fruit it bears. Reading today in the book of Acts 1 and 2 in the verse of the day is Acts 1 verse 3. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. Word of the day is suffering. It is the Greek word pascho. It means passion, to suffer punishment, to be afflicted, oppressed by, to endure or undergo pain, the disfavor of man or God. The definition passion evokes the phrase we have all likely heard, the passion of Christ. Christ suffered the wrath of God on our behalf, something he did not deserve, but he chose. This puts our suffering into a different context. When we think we don't deserve suffering, we can look to Christ's passion. He did not complain of his suffering, but passionately, with joy, faced it, knowing what he was achieving. The book of Acts was written by Luke, who was an apostle of Jesus and also a physician. The Enduring Word Commentary notes that William Ramsey, a noted archaeologist archaeologist and Bible scholar, proved that the historical record of Acts is remarkably accurate regarding the specific practices, laws, and customs of the period it claims to record. It is definitely the work of contemporary eyewitnesses. Reading our verse of the day in a larger context, Acts 1, verses 1 through 3, it says, The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up to heaven after he had by the Holy Spirit given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over a period of 40 days and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. In our verse of the day, Luke is describing how Jesus met with the apostles after his suffering, proving he had resurrected before he ascended into heaven. His disciples witnessed his suffering. They did not want him to suffer, yet Christ chose the suffering to save his people. And after his suffering, his disciples saw what Christ's suffering had achieved. We would rather gain what suffering achieves without walking through the suffering, right? But walking through the suffering produces character growth in us and ultimately works for our good and God's glory. What if Christ had not chosen to suffer on behalf of his people? None of us would be saved. Learn to endure suffering like Christ did. See God's purposes in it and trust in God during your seasons of suffering. God has not forgotten you and no suffering is ever in vain. The purpose of suffering is seen in the fruit it bears and how God uses it in our lives and in others' lives around us. Go with God and His precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of Hebrews.